Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. So last, I think it was last month, I did some freezer meals and I tried them out for the first time. So on today's video, I'm gonna give you a couple of them that I did and I'll let you know what ones we liked and if we're gonna probably do it again. So with these freezer meals, uh, one of the things that I should have probably did is either doubled them or tripled them for our size family. So what I ended up doing is taking two freezer meals and just having two crock pots going at the same time. And then I just did it that way so that we had enough food for our meals. But I'm thinking next time I might just double them or just package them. Some of them were where I could probably package them all in one bag so it's not like i needed to have multiple freezer bags of the same one i wanted to do that i could have did that like just made like four of the same one i know that i will be making more or the same ones again i will list that pack down below these are the ones that crystal lopez has for her packs and I'm just sharing them with you guys. So if you purchase that, some of the proceeds go to me and some go to Crystal. So I'm on like a little, just for because we're kind of teaming up that way. And then I'm also going to be doing more freezer meals soon. This video is not recorded very well when it came to me sharing it because all I did is just put them in the crock pot and then some of them I kind of plate it up but I didn't end the video with me talking so I needed to, to come back on right now and kind of finish out that video and um, just explain more when when it came to it otherwise this video would have had like just me putting food in a crock pot and that would have been it for today's video so I felt like I needed to come on and share a little bit more with you so I think I am sharing one two three four five six and then seven the last one is kind of random but i wanted to share it with you because it's so good um and that one's not a freezer meal but it's a crock pot like appetizer snack thing that you can bring somewhere so i'll share that with you i'll come on um throughout the video and just kind of explain more of how i felt about each individual uh freezer meal that we did and then um just sharing how things turned out and what we did with them. All right, for the first recipe, I did chicken fajitas and the kids really liked that one. Lauren really liked that one. And then this one is the cilantro lime chicken. And that one also was really good. We put some rice with that one. And then for the fajita ones, we put them in wraps. If you can tell, my crock pot is a little loved and this is the only way that I can read the digital reading on here. So I need to keep it on there. But yeah, I put some electrical tape on there and eventually I'll get a new one because it's starting to wear anyways. Um, so for these, I put on high because I needed them done faster today, but you can do what you need to with these meals. I will list them down below and give you Crystal's freezer meals. Okay, for the first two recipes, we made cilantro, lime, chicken, and we made fajita chicken. So the kids really liked the fajita chicken better than um, the cilantro lime, but the cilantro lime still was good. So I still will make, probably make both of them. I do need to double, like I said, or triple because it was just not enough for our family. So when I do this, I'm really gonna have to like plan what I need for my groceries to do this. So if you guys are new here, this is my first time um, doing freezer meals. I usually just do freezer prep stuff, like breakfast stuff, but this is my first time doing it and I really, really like it. So I'm gonna keep adding freezer meals probably to some of my videos. This is not what my channel is about, but it's just large family cooking and things that I can start adding to our meals and stuff to make my life easier. The next recipes we are going to be doing smothered pork chops and then I'm going to be making, so this one is creamy ranch pork chop. The next one that I'm putting in my other crock pot is going to be the smothered pork chops. And this one has, I think it was like cream of mushroom or cream of chicken soup. And 
this one was really good too so i ended up having to go somewhere that night i packed some of it up and brought it over to my daughter's house because evelyn needed to go over there i needed to get a babysitter and my older daughter babysits for my kids when i need someone so i brought some of this over there for evelyn to have and my oldest daughter was like these are amazing so very good recipes with the pork chops all right so for a lot of the freezer meals, I put them on high because I ended up starting them in the afternoon and I needed them done for supper. And I didn't have any problems with them not being done in time. So if you want, you could thaw these out overnight and then put them in you know, that morning or whenever you think that you're going to need them. A lot of them is like five to six hours cook time. So that's what I did for the pork chops. For the smothered pork chops, I ended up needing to put in, I think it was like a cup or two of water because I put some broth paste in with that freezer meal and I didn't put any liquids in it. So that's what I did with that one. All right, this is how it turned out after. And what I did, this, I think this, yeah, this is the smothered one. So that's what it looked like and then i just kind of crumbled it up and we ate it i think over rice for that night and then for the other one the ranch one this is how this one turned out and they both were so good they were amazing so i will leave um that packet down below all right for this recipe that i just shared is the ra creamy ranch pork chops and then we had the smothered pork chops each one of them were delicious I kind of went over that a little bit when I was talking about how we made it um so I use my own ranch that I put together and put in the creamy ranch one um otherwise you could just add a ranch pack to that one um and then I think the creamy one was I put beef paste in there so I didn't put the liquid because I didn't want to put the liquid in there right away and make a mess in the bag. So I added two cups of water to the crock pot for that recipe. That recipe was so good. The pork chops just fell apart. I definitely will be doing that one again. Um, for this recipe, this is the Asian chicken and like i said i could have doubled or even tripled these recipes but i'm so glad that we were able to just try it out because if we didn't like it that would have been real, you know wasted food so we will start out small so this one is going to be the cranberry orange chicken um this one also was really good i recently made something very similar to this and i posted a video on it a crock pot meal on it and that also is so good all you need to do is just add some orange marmalade and some um oh maybe this one was the barbecue cranberry orange i'll have to look it up and i'll put it down below on what one it was um but i just added the orange marmalade and cranberry like a can of cranberry and i'll come back if there was barbecue in there because i don't remember but i think there was so what i ended up doing is just plating it up for the kids i put rice and both of the uh, crock pot meals on the plate so that the kids could try it out that was the orange chicken and then the other one was the Asian chicken. So I just put rice and that on their plate so that they could just see if they like it. That way I know that if I'm going to make it again, I will do that. But I'm feeling that if I would have just made double of each one of these, the kids might have not have liked it. And then I ended up, you know, wasting that. For the Asian chicken and the cranberry orange chicken, I couldn't remember which one it was, if it was the barbecue orange cranberry, but it was the cranberry orange. So you're gonna take a can of cranberry and um, with the berries, and then you're going to add, I think it was like a cup or so of uh, orange marmalade. Um, if you have another way to do that, do that. Otherwise, you can maybe add some orange juice or something to it. But that one was really, really good also. 
All right, for this recipe, this is kind of off of what I'm sharing with the freezer meal packets. I needed to make something up quick for our Bible study for our group tonight. So we're making some Dr. Pepper barbecue uh, meatballs. So I bought two packages of meatballs. I was able to put both packages in this smaller crock pot. And then I added some, I think it's the bullseye barbecue sauce and a can of Diet Dr. Pepper. I didn't have regular Dr. Pepper, otherwise I would have used that instead. Um, but anyways, it turned out and they were all gone by the end of our class. So that was a win for our group. All right, for the last recipe, I wanted to share that with you because it's so good. So you can add anything that you want. I don't know if anybody ever added root beer to like their crock pot meals but you could do something similar if you don't want dr pepper i know that a lot of people add dr pepper to some of their crock pots and stuff so i usually will make my roast and add a can of dr pepper to the roast we usually have dr pepper here and that's usually what i go with but i only had a diet dr pepper so i use that instead for the meatball recipe the meatballs were a smaller great value brand meatballs and I think they turned out perfect so um them went like really fast and I don't even think some of the kids ended up getting any that night but um that is something easy to make for just like a quick snack or something that you want to bring for a dish to pass um to a party or whatever so that is everything that i wanted to share with you guys today so i'm sorry that it was kind of just thrown together and i didn't really prepare myself with um that you know recording it very well and sharing that with you but hopefully you get an idea of how easy it was for me to just like kind of dump and go and all of them were done in the afternoon so i cooked them at like one i put them in the crock pot um, and I thawed them out the night before and uh, they worked out great for the timing that I needed them to be done. And I will be sharing more with you guys monthly. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to put it all together yet, but I know that the fall one is gonna come out in October and I will share that pack with you in October. We are in October, but I'm gonna share it with you when I get that all Put together when i know that i need to get them recipes in bags i have one freezer meal left from last month that i did and that one is the creamy ranch pork chops so i will be making that but there's not enough in there for you know our whole family so that is what i'm going to be doing in october so if you guys have any more ideas that you want me to share with you on my channel just leave them in the comments down below otherwise hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one